Good Friday morning. This morning's devotion helps us to deal with temptation. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 says, Now these things took place as examples for us, that we might not desire evil as they did. Do not be idolaters as some of them were. As it is written, the people sat down, they ate and they drank, and they rose up to play. We must not indulge in sexual immorality as some of them did and 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not put Christ to the test, as some of them did, and were destroyed by serpents, nor grumble, as some of them did, and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now these things happened to them as an example, but they were written down for our instruction, on whom the end of the age has come. Therefore, let anyone who thinks that he stands take heed lest he fall. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. None of us know what stuff we're made of until we're tested and tried. Many think themselves to be strong, maybe even perfect. Don't think that way. One old timer said, Sin may be dead, but it ain't buried yet. We do not have to yield to temptation, but it is only those who totally lean upon God in temptation who will become more than conquerors. Don't think that your case is unique. Many people face the same temptations that you do. Paul uses the Hebrew children's trial in the wilderness as an illustration. Folks, Satan can tempt you anywhere. He can tempt anyone. Paul here lists five temptations in these few verses, and I'm sure one of these probably strikes a chord in your life. Evil desires, idolatry, sexual immorality, testing God, or constant complaining. Verse 12 clearly states, these temptations are common to everyone. Temptation is common, but do not forget that God is faithful. Yes, people fail us, and We've all been taken advantage of at one time or another, but God never has done that to us. God never fails. He's faithful to every promise. He's able to preserve and deliver you and help you make it through your temptation. God does not tempt us, but he can limit the temptation. The entire book of Job bears that out. Satan cannot tempt us unless God allows it. God is in control, even when we're being tempted. You need some more examples that God is in control, even when you're tempted? How about the nation of Israel standing at the Red Sea? God parted the waters. How about Daniel in the lion's den? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace? Jonah in the whale? Peter in prison? The examples in scripture are multiple. God knows how much you can bear. I think what makes enduring temptation seem more difficult than it really is, is the fact that I feel like my limit is right here, but God knows I can make it to there. And the journey between here and there, (laughs) it's a scary one. But you're stronger than you think. You can do it if God says you can do it. What if you simply don't have enough in the tank to get from here to there? Rest assured, he gives us a way out of temptation. Now that doesn't mean we won't have to endure it. The best way for an army to escape is by conquering its foe. Are you in a trial and you want to escape? Don't try to avoid it, deal with it. God will give you strength to bear it. Nikki Gumbel closes today's devotion by encouraging us to ask ourselves two questions. How can I ensure that I am not enslaved by my own desires And how can I serve everyone I come in contact with today? Lord, help me to go into strict training in order to win a crown that will last forever. Help me avoid falling into temptation. Help me to worship and serve you and you alone. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.